Hi guys, and thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. My name is Kelly, and I am a professional makeup artist right outside of Atlanta in Alpharetta, Georgia. And today I want to share some tips and tricks that I use to make my eyelashes look longer, thicker, and really just give my face more of a uh, well-rested look. And lashes are also a more youthful look. So I want to share some of my tips and tricks with you. And um, I'm going to start with curling the lashes. So let me get a little bit closer to the camera. So I don't know if you can tell that this side, I've already curled these lashes, and this side I haven't. So um, I do have pretty long lashes, but they're not very thick. But even if I have them, um, if I don't curl them, you don't see all the length. So I don't know if you can see, once I put the mascara on, you're really gonna be able to tell. But these look so much longer just because they have been lifted. And what happens is over time, um, our lashes have natural curl in them, but as we age, they lose their natural curl. So even if you've got long lashes or thick lashes, if someone's looking at you from the front um, straight on, they can't see that because your lashes are out like that. So just by curling the lashes, it will open them up so you can see the length as well as um, eliminate shadows that can be cast by, sh by your lashes when they are not curled and just leaning over the, the eye like that. Um, our eyes are the windows to our soul. Oops, let me just zoom this out a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. So um, there are lots of eyelash curlers on the market and I have really had, I haven't had a lot of luck in finding one that gave me a nice even curl all throughout the base of the lash. And that's because I have very deep set eyes, but I also have wide eyes. So most of the eyelash curlers are very horseshoe shaped. So you've got these outside lashes that um, are just bent. This is the best eyelash curler I have ever used. This is the Troy Surratt. Reveille Lash Curler, and in fact, it won the Allure Best of Beauty Best, uh, Best Beauty Tool last year, um, and it is amazing. One, you can get a little bit more stability in pinching the the base of the curler because it's too um, it, it's double uh, banded here on the on the end as opposed to one. So you've got two bands here on the thumb ring as well. So it's a little bit more secure, and you don't have the wobbling going on. Also, it has less of a horseshoe shape than any of the other curlers on the market. So it really does help when you've got deep set eyes like mine. So um, I've already done this one. I'm gonna do my left eye. So for me, since my eyes are so deep set, I do, I put my lashes in and then I actually take my ring finger or my index finger and hold my brow bone up so that I can make sure I've got all the lashes in the curler. And then what I do, I give it a gentle curl at the base, hold for a few minutes or a few seconds rather, and then let go and slide down just a little bit so you're kind of mid-shaft and give it a more gentle squeeze. So that way you've got a nice natural rounded curl as opposed to just a hard bend. So, um, alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use, I'm going to show you a couple of different mascaras. There, there are a lot of mascaras on the market and most of the time um, I'm of the opinion that your mass market, your mass dealers like CoverGirl and Maybelline really can give the bigger brands or the more prestige brands a run for their money on mascara because mascara is all about volume and in fact, you know, you may have worked with um, or used a cosmetic line before that may only have one formula of mascara and I know that um, from my experience, I worked with a company and they only had one mascara and it was a, an everyday mascara and so when I ask them about um, why don't we have one that's for m more volume and more voluminous? And explain to me that you, with mascara, there's a very high buy-in. So, you know, I'm just going to use the analogy. Let's say there's um, 300,000 pieces that you have to buy. So if you're a small makeup company, you can't um, usually afford to put that much revenue into one product SKU. So it's all about your brush. Is, um, th that's that is one of the biggest factors in how your mascara works. So most of your mascaras have your regular, and this is one of my go-to mascaras. This is Mirabella's Lash Essential. It's a mineral mascara. It's also very light. It's more of a gel-based mascara. So um, as we age and our lashes get thinner, we can't support the weight of these very heavy voluminous um, formulas. They just weigh down our lashes. So this is a good everyday mascara. And when you purchase this, the brush is actually not bent. It's straight, but I always take my brushes and bend them um, just at the 
front of the tube so that I get a really nice bend um, and I'll show you why here shortly. So anyway, this is more of your regular tapered head. It's an um, average size tapered head. And what's great about these is that you can, uh, with it being wide, it gives a lot of room for your lashes to wrap around to curl. But then by having the tapered edge or the tapered end, you can really get into more of the um, detail area. So inner corner of the eye, the outer corner of the eye, if you want to do a sweep, so it's more of a cat eye. So this is one of my um, favorite mascaras. And again, it's just a very good, lightweight mascara, um, good for everyday use, especially if you have thin lashes and you need something that's a little lighter. Another one of my favorites is a good everyday mascara, and it is called Lux Mascara from Therapy Systems. And again, I bent the wand. Um, it isn't normally like this. Um, this is a very lightweight formula. And what I like about this one in particular is that it doesn't clump. Um, even, you know, mascara should be replaced every three months just because exposure to air, it dries out, but also just because we have a, um, a lot of bacteria around our eyes and it can multiply in the container. So um, this is a great one. It's only 19 bucks, and that's one of the cheapest um, department store brand mascaras that I know of. This one is uh, more of your thick lash. So it's a, a full, um, full head wand, and it's not necessarily tapered. So that's great, but if you're gonna do detail work around the inner corner of the eye, it is a little bit more difficult with that. And what I'm gonna do before I show you any more mascaras, I'm actually just gonna show you some of these wands by themselves. So here's your full head mascara. That is a very nice full head that has um, a tapered end. And then this is more of an, um, it's not very large in volume, but it is tapered a bit and it's already bent, which these are not really necessary since you can bend your regular mascara wands. And then this is a shorter, more full, head so that's really more to, for volume and making sure you've got um, enough room for the lashes to wrap around and then here are two of my favorites your silicone this is actually a spherical shape and it's made out of silicone silicone really allows you to separate and define um, it also is able to grab and deposit more product because the silicone doesn't absorb your mascara like your nylon brushes do or synthetic brushes. So these are great. You have to work in smaller areas, but it's really good because you can get in um, the inner corner, the outer corner, and they're also really great for the bottom, uh, the bottom lashes. And then this is actually a bottom lash mas uh, mascara wand. So it's teeny, you can see it's just got a tiny little bit and it is tapered um, to some extent. And I'll show photos of, the, of these in my blog post that'll go along with this video. But this is designed for the lower lashes. Um, I also find it very helpful for getting in my inner lashes are not as thick as the mid and the outer lashes. So it really helps me to get in at the base and I'll show you as I'm applying my mascara. So um, just, different ones. For example, Dior Show. I know that a lot of people love this. However, I have found that this mascara is a little heavy. If you were someone that has thinner lashes, it does tend to weigh it down. Um, Trish McAvoy and Blink make the tubular mascaras. Um, a lot of people love them. I don't particularly because I feel like they take away the volume. There's so much separation. But if you're somebody that really wants more of that separated look, um, that's a great option for you. And then one of my favorite drugstore brands, and actually this is, was one of my go-tos until just recently. Um, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon uh, Black Mascara. This mascara is the bomb. It has a big fat brush. It is tapered a little bit, um, but it's really nice. The, the formula sticks um, really well, and so as you work it around the base of the lash, you do get a lot of density there. Um, and then, of course, two more drugstore brands, the CoverGirl Lash Blast and Crump Clusher. These are awesome, oops, brands um, as well for drugstore brands. And these both have the silicone um, mascara wand. So again, you're going to get more separation. You're going to be able to pick up more product and apply it to the lashes than you would with a regular um, synthetic or uh, nylon brush head. Okay, so one of the things that I love about this new mascara that I have been using, this is Lash Lux Mascara by um, one of my favorite brands, the mineral company Mirabella Beauty. And this is a, a mascara that actually does lengthen, curl, and um, add volume. But it's a little different because it's got a formula, a, a patented product in it called Wide Lash. And what Wide Lash is, is it has... Um, 
it contains peptides um, and it has uh, B5 in it, um, glycerin, which is a humectant. And what this particular ingredient is known for is strengthening the um, st strengthening the hair bulb where it anchors at the lash line because what it does is it increases your um, production of collagen and so therefore you're, you don't lose as many lashes and it also stimulates um, uh, new hair growth. So this is awesome. This is a beautiful mascara as far as just application, but the fact that it's got some properties to help your lashes grow, it's got the biotin, the tripeptides, panthenol, and glycerin. It is currently my favorite mascara on the market. Now with this mascara, again, the wand was not curled when it arrived, but I always put it in the end to bend it. And then I'm going to show you a little trick about application. Typically, when we apply mascara, we start mid-shaft. We'll start from this side. So we hit the middle of the lash and go to the end. Where we get the illusion of having volume in our lashes is at the base of the lash. So if we just hit from mid-shaft up, we might look like we have longer lashes, but we have no definition at the base of the lash. So I always take my wand that is curled, and instead of holding it where the curl is actually um, in line with my eye, I hold it and I twist it around so that I have the bend of the curl facing my eyelashes, and then I take it and I push it into the root of the lash. I'm not taking it and going up, I'm just taking it and pushing it into the root of the lash. So that way I'm really applying a lot of density just at the lash line. So by turning around and using the end, it really makes it a lot easier. So already I haven't even done anything but the base of the lash and not um, usually I go in and really define it. So just easy so now. now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, continue building the base, the root of the lashes with my mascara. And again, this is the Mirabella Lash Luxe. So by taking it and really pushing it into the base of the lash, you're getting a lot of volume. And then now I'll take it and just do kind of push in and do little zigzag motions with my hand or with my wrist rather. And just continuing to go all the way across the base of the lash. And now I'm going to push and take it all the way to the end. So now we're getting to the tips of the lashes. So wow, you can really see a difference there. Then what I like to do is I like to take the wand and turn it around so that the um, curve is going to be on, on the bottom and it's more horizontal. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it on the back side of my lash on the tips and just kind of give a little twist. That helps to give it a little curl and also make sure that you have the tip of the lashes have mascara on the tip of the lashes. So before I apply another layer, I'm going to take a brush and my two favorite brushes to use would be the lower lash brush or the spherical brush. So I want to go in and just make sure that I really separate because when I go on and put the, go put the second coat on, if I choose to put a second coat, I don't want it to be clumpy. I want to be able to go in and accentuate length or, or volume where I need to, which for me is typically here on the inner corner and on the outer corners. Okay, so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Okay, so now you can really see a difference in, and that is one coat of mascara, which just is mind boggling to me. I love this mascara. Now, of course, I've got little messies everywhere, which we can clean up afterwards. So then I'll go back and do another coat. And here I'm really just going to um, just lightly press it all the way across and then brush up. So I don't know if you can tell, I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of lashes on the inner corner. So this is where this little bitty wand take, uh, comes in handy. I'm going to take my brush and just get the mascara off the tip of the brush by brushing it across my wand. Stick it back in the applicator. And now I'm going to take this little bitty wand and just do the inner corner of the lash. Okay, so that's a big lash compared to this lash. So that is just mascara. 
no uh, mascara primer, um, just curling the lash and then um, using the technique of pushing it against the base of the lash until you've got it all covered at the root of the lash, then coming up to mid shaft, pushing in again, doing the same motion, like pushing in again, and then on the third run, th the third run through, you're going to just take it front and go gently up through the tips. Then remember, go on the back side of the lash and just um, gently touch the tips and lift so it makes a little curl. And then you can either use your mascara wand that you're that you have to comb through, or um, if you have access to the smaller ones, these really make it much much easier. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed that little tip on. Mm-hmm.